Developing this morning, a Chester police officer is recovering today in the hospital after he was shot while pursuing a homicide suspect. That suspect was killed. CBS Philadelphia reporter Ross DeMattei is live outside of Crozier Chester Medical Center where both the officer and suspect were taken. Ross. Good morning, guys. Yeah, both the suspect and the officer taken here to Crozier Medical Center. Following that shootout between the two, we know the suspect did not survive their injuries. That person passed away. As for the officer, we're told that officer is doing okay this morning on the road to recovery. And again, this stemmed from a short dispute, uh, a short pursuit, I should say, and then gunshots being exchanged between the two. Let's talk about uh, everything we know about this case. This happened yesterday afternoon, right around 3:30 in the afternoon. Investigators say a senior detective with the Chester Police. Department was trying to stop a driver who was wanted for a homicide near 9th and Curlin Streets. That was earlier in the day, and that led to a brief pursuit, which ended with the suspect crashing near West 14th Street and Arbor Drive in Chester. And that's when police say he got out of the vehicle and started shooting at the detective. The officer then returned fire and hit the suspect, but not before he too was hit and wounded by a bullet. Now, during a news conference, the mayor of Chester called it a sad day and said he is thankful the officer is expected to pull through. I will say this to anyone who wants to challenge our police officers when they're in the line of duty. Don't. It turns out in a tragedy like we've seen today. And we are working to determine the identity of that suspect who was shot and killed. Police still have not released the name of that person. As for the officer, again, we're told he is doing okay. He's currently recovering from that gunshot wound to his torso, but we're told he could be released from the hospital in the near future.